What is going on today guys? A year and today we're bringing you the week 5 battle for the UGL. Just like always, I'm going to hop in here and connect. And if you are new here, subscribe and like the video because that's what's going to help me out the most. But we do see Samu's team and he does not bring Alakazam, which is huge. He also doesn't bring Toxapex, which is huge. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. I definitely expected those two Pokemon to come. So looking at his team, um, probably is some kind of banded Flapple and some kind of Scarf Guard. Uh, I think I can just lead. See, he did bring Rotom, so he can Defog if he wants. I think I just lead... I don't want to lead Scizor, but if he leads Arcanine, what do I do then? I go into Palace One. If he leads anything else. If he leads Gardevoir, that might be bad because he can Mystical Fire. If I lead Pelipper, and he leads Rotom, I go Palace One. I think that's better. I think that's better. So I think I lead Pelipper. He goes, if he does lead Rotom, then I'll go Palace Wine if he leads Gardevoir. Um, I'll assume that he has an electric move. Can y'all hear the game? Yeah, it looks like the, the game is being picked up. And we are good to go. My Elgato has been giving me some issues here lately. So hopefully everything is, is smooth sailing from this point out. But like I said, if you are new here, subscribe. And if, there's, if you want to see this every week, uh, check out the playlist. He does lead, so he does lead the Rotom. Okay. So we don't want to be in on this thing. We definitely do not want to be in on this thing. Um, so I'm going to actually lead... I'm going to go in Ari here because I don't want the will of pilot one. If he will wisp anything, I'd rather it be my uh, Rotom. He does go for the Volt Switch. That's fine. I don't. I don't know what he goes into. Like we're in. We're in the rain. So Arcanine. Arcanine's not doing a great deal to us, and he didn't bring Toxapex, so he doesn't have like a Poison type to us with. Um, so I think this switch was pretty pretty good. I think the switch was a very good switch. We didn't take too much from that Volt switch, which tells me he's probably a pretty defensive Rotom. I'm sure he has Defog as well. He goes out into the Arcanine. That's fine. That's fine. I think I can Volt switch here. Like I said, inside the rain, inside the rain, it's basically a neutral hit. Basically a neutral hit, so I'm just going to Volt Switch. I think if he lets me Volt Switch here... He goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Okay. That's, that's fine. It's completely fine. I think I go Jolteon. He's pretty bulky. He is pretty bulky. Um, maybe I don't go Jolteon. Maybe I go... I think this is the time for me to go Urshifu. And I'll just, I'll just get a sub off here. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm just hit Liquidation. Just hit Liquidation here. Because if Rotom comes in, I can't really touch Rotom. Spaghetti. Okay, he goes into Tame Growth. That makes sense. That makes sense. But that still does... Okay, he's Rocky Helmet. That still does a good bit to him, though. Um... I'm gonna go Scizor here. I'm 
In case he does like one of Toxic or something. So we reveal the Rocky Helmet, which is which is good for us. And he's not AV for like Pelipper or Jolteon. Clicks knockoff. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Um What would he go into here? Probably the Arcanine. Just gonna U-turn. Maybe should not use knockoff there. I maybe should have used knockoff there. If he doesn't switch, okay, he does switch. Good, that's good. Since I'll Kurt. Which is the Steelix. Alright, so we go back into... Mm. We go back into Urshifu here. Rain stops. That's fine. He has leftovers. Okay. I think I'm gonna bulk up here. He does switch out. That's good. I'm gonna get a bulk up off. He goes back into Tang Growth. I'm gonna sub. Maybe I'll go for knockoff again. He could also have like Power Whip and Earthquake and stuff. I think Power Whip is the only thing that's going to break our sub from this point. So, I think he has to go for it. He could also have Toxic. So, subbing here. I think subbing here is definitely the play. So, he does stay in. He goes for Giga Drain. Okay. Okay, so that's not the greatest. I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into Pelipper here. I was hoping he was physical tank growth. I'm gonna go into Pelipper and click U turn. Honestly, I could go into Pelipper and click Hurricane. That does a good bit to Pelipper. I think I'm just gonna click Hurricane. I know Pelipper's special defense isn't super high, but that still did a good chunk. I think he's I think he's got special attack investment in this thing. He probably goes Rotom. He probably goes Rotom, in which case we play the same sequence that we did earlier. Him, him being Willow as Arcanine makes me feel like he is going to be special. 
Dame or Dame? Okay. So Gardevoir got the Drizzle, but it's not going to want to take this Hurricane. Yeah, it does not want to take that Hurricane at all. Um, I think I just go... I think I just go Sizzle here. I'm trying to basically get everything into Jolteon range. He does go for the Psychic. We go into a resisted hit here. Um, I'm assuming he's locked, so I'm actually going to click U-turn. He could sag this thing, but I think he needs to save it. I really think he needs to save it. Yep. Goes into Kurt, which is the Steelix again. So we know he's leftovers. I think I go back into Pelipper here. No, no. We go into Celestial. We go here, and I'm gonna make a play. Gonna make a play into. Um, into Scizor. Predicting a tain growth. And then I can click knock off. He does switch out, probably into tank growth. Yep. Now I can put knockoff. The rain has stopped, which means I could go. Mm. I'm gonna click knockoff this turn. Cause I kind of want to get rid of this thing's rocky helmet. And if he does switch out, then I claim an item on something else. Claiming an item on... Uh, okay, we get this thing's rocking helmet. Nice. He does good for the knockoff. I'm going to click dual wing beat here. So another dual wing beat does take this thing out. But I think I go for U-turn if I live. I don't live. Okay. I think I'm going to Pelipper and going to go for a U-turn. I think I'm going to Pelipper. Click U-turn here because he could be going into into the Rotom. I feel like a Rotom, Rotom switch here is actually pretty good because he gets his Regenerator and uh, resists Hurricane and Scald. And if he goes Rotom, we can definitely, definitely just go Jolteon. He doesn't switch out. Does this kill? Not even close.
Okay, then... I think I need to go Ari here. You sleep powder? Good. That's... That's... That's good for us. Um... Gonna Volt Switch? Don't know if Volt Switch kills. I have no idea if Volt Switch kills. Please kill. Thank you. Thank you. Um... I'm gonna go Jolteon and get my Flame Orb. I get my flame more proc here. And I don't know what he goes now. He's gotta go Steelix, right? Wish I could run a cow. Does he go Steelix or does he go Rotom? I don't think Rotom Rotom probably has hex. This worm, which is the flapple. Okay. Hmm. Is he going for sucker punch? I go. I go into uh, the palace one here. I'm also gonna get it rocks. Grab apple. Okay. Oh my goodness. So he is life orb. I go for the ice shard. I wanted to get rocks up, but I definitely thought he was going for sucker punch there. Okay, we get the ice shard off. That's my kill. It does not kill. Okay. Oh, he misses. That's huge. Um, hustles, hustles bad. Hustles a bad ability. Hustles a very bad ability. If he has sucker punch here, and he doesn't have sucker punch, that tells me he does not have sucker punch. He goes Steelix. That's fine. The rain stopped. I'm gonna get a Brox here. He can he can kill me here if he wants. He also goes for Brox. Okay, that's smart. Pelipper can't come in too much now. But I do get the earthquake now. Like I'm just letting I'm letting Palos one go down. I don't I don't really need this any, anymore. Not after that grab apple damage. And I do, I don't think I can come back in on rocks anyways, so we're just gonna get this earthquake off. That's some good chip. That's some really good chip. Just for the body press, that's fine. Think I go Pelipper? Think I go Pelipper and U turn? Actually, I'm just gonna click Scald. Just gonna click Scald because I can't come back in with Pelipper again. Unless I get a defog off later. But I'm just gonna click Scald. Because if he does switch into Rotom, Rotom can take a good amount of damage from this. Okay, he stays in. And he gives me Steelix. Nice. Very nice. Glad I didn't switch there.
He sends out his Gardevoir. This is fine. I'll just let this go down. Goes for the Psychic. I'll just let this go down, and I will go into... I'll go into Jolteon here. I'm gonna take rocks, which sucks. But we can deal damage. We can deal some damage. So, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Covers a Rotom Switch. What's he switching into? Okay, he gives me Flapple. He gives me Flapple. If he sees the Shadow Ball, maybe he'll be less inclined to go Rotom. And he'll go Arcanine this turn. I would really rather him go Arcanine this turn. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Is he boots? He is boots. Um, this is a hundred times, so it's two hundred. This is times one point five. So weather ball is definitely doing more. Weather ball is definitely doing more, and it might just straight up kill it. It does. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's very, very nice. That might be GG right there. Jolteon is a monster Pokemon. Jolteon is so good. Alright, so he goes Rotom. Thing is, Hex here might kill us, but I'm just going to Shadow Ball. See how much this does. Oh my goodness. Pain split. That's fine. Jolteon is a monster. We just Shadow Ball here. And I think Guard dies to rocks. Rocks keep taking away my Jolteon kills. But it's fine. Palaswine. Palaswine's doing the most work with the stealth rocks. Man, this, I, 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 I'm, I'm very surprised at how much work Jolteon's putting in. Whenever I picked up Jolteon too, I didn't even have rain. Like, adding rain to this team was such a good idea. I'm very glad that Shaded dropped Pelipper. Does this die to rocks? It does. That's a GG. That's a 3-0. That's a big 3-0. Sam is a very good player. Um, but GG's to him, and... Yep, that's where I'm going to leave you. We are now 4-1 and one at a plus 10. Actually, yeah, plus... No, plus 13? 4-1 and one plus 13, I think? Man, it's either plus 10 or plus 13, but whatever it is, it's a freaking huge differential. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave you. So if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.